describe that related introduction. And you, actually, you actually explained it very well, so I won't go too much into the details yes, uh, of how it works. Uh, but more so, I'll talk about three themes and try and convince you by the end of it why you should enter the millennial of the year. So just put your hands up. Do any of you know what a millennial is? Okay, so 2025, 20, by this year, 75% of the workforce will be millennials. So the majority of people in this room are in that category. But who is absolutely proud and loves to be associated with the name millennial? Put up your hand if that's the case. So nobody? Jack. Jack, Jack. one person. <laughs> well, well that's, not, that's not really that surprising, okay? Because modern surveys aren't very complimentary when they talk about attributes of millennials. Seemingly, we're lazy and quite narcissistic. Seemingly, at work, we're impatient. We want free food and beanbags. <laughs> and this is the idea of what millennials are today. And do you know what most of all people say? Millennials provide no hope, none at all. And you know what, this isn't that unjust. I don't think so. Netflix, Instagram, iPhones, Love Island. All of these things create a brainless desire to replace true experience with simulation. We don't talk, we watch talk shows. We don't play games, we play, we watch game shows. We don't even date, we watch date shows. Everything, travel, risk, relationships, true meaningful experiences have to be packaged and delivered to us so we can watch from afar, ever passive, ever sheltered millennials who can't break from technology, get off the couch, and make the world a better place. That's seemingly who we all are. But you know what? I don't think it has to be the case. And it can't be the case, because the stakes are way too high. We live in a world where more money is invested in curing baldness than malaria. Does that seem right to you? As a, a man who is very much balding, <laughs> I can say, no, it's not. And that's why there's a need for the millennial generation, the largest generation the world has ever seen, to be the largest force of good the world has ever had. In 1995, I think most people will be able to tell you what the year 2000 looked like. But today, in 2018, I don't think there's anybody in this room that can tell us what 2023 or 2024 is going to be. The rate of change is faster, the happenings are quicker, the stakes are higher. And that's why our generation really, really needs to think about what we're going to do. We're all millennials here. You can't run from that. But you can change what millennials mean. And I would like to say what a millennial is, is somebody who helps somebody else. So now that we know what our gener generation is, let's talk about who we can help. Fact number two. Ireland has one of the highest rates of Down syndrome, but one of the lowest rates of employment. Just let that sink in for a moment. Let me tell a quick story. My youngest brother, Andrew, is nine years old. And his best friend, Kean, has Down syndrome. And they play PlayStation, they build snowman, and they have fun, and that's a really good relationship, and it's a great story. And there's going to be communions, and there's going to be confirmations, and secondary school. But just when secondary school ends, in the leaving cert, Something's going to happen. 
Andrew, my brother, is going to go to college, he's going to get trained, he's going to go to a career guidance counsellor, find a job fair, and probably enter a graduate programme. But his friend, Kean is going to be unemployed. Because today there's no space, <coughs> and people with Down syndrome are ostracised. And everybody here knows that if 95% of people with Down syndrome on the island of a thousand welcomes can't find a job, that that is wrong. But I honestly feel that the millennial generation, whether you look at the abortion laws or gay marriage, we might just be the generation that correct wrongs. And this might be a wrong that we correct. And for those of you that don't understand what a wrong is, let me just make a, distinguish, a distinction between what a problem is and what a wrong is. Dublin City needed an extra Lewis line for a long time. Mm. That was a problem, okay? We all felt it. A lot of people in rural Ireland couldn't get really fast broadband, and that's a problem. However, this, what we have, all of us, part of it, before us today, is a wrong. And that's what we should do. Correct wrongs. Now you might ask me again, why? Well, I'll put you in your back foot and ask you this. Has it been a good year? Yeah. Or has it, has it been a bad year? And just take a moment to think about that. Has it been a good year for you or a bad year? If it's been a good year, I'm genuinely actually very happy for you. If the universe has conspired to do good things for you and it's all worked out well, I'm really happy for you. So my question is, is it time to give something back? And if you've had a bad year, if things didn't really work out, if you didn't get where you want to go or you didn't get what you wanted, which happens way more than we all care to admit, then maybe, is it time to change something? Challenge yourself. Don't watch somebody being challenged. Fundraise. Don't watch somebody else fundraising. Stand up. Try and earn a thousand euro. Change what the word millennium means and perhaps make it the largest force of good the world has ever seen. And that's what the millennial of the year is about. Every single euro fundraise is going to go to the employability program, which will train, upskill people with Down syndrome in specific job roles, develop bridges and links with employers, and get them jobs which increases life expectancy by 15 years, reduces the risk of heart disease, Alzheimer's, dementia, everything, because everybody deserves to have a job, and everybody deserves to live an independent life. So why should you be part of the millennial of the year? Well, for me, it's very simple. When you're at the pearly gates, whatever that may be, you're going to have to answer two questions to yourself. How much fun have you had? And how many people have you helped? Let the millennial of the year answer both those questions. Thank you.